we'll, we will challenge you, okay? Sit down and answer these same 20 questions and see what you come up with. I promise you, you'll be stuck. Yeah, for sure. And Welcome back to my channel. So we have another interview guest today. You want to introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Becca. Been <laughs> friends with Holly for like 10 years now, maybe longer. And counting. Well, obviously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to ask you, I say we, like me and the audience, you know, we're going to ask you 20 questions and you have to answer honestly as possible. I'm nervous. <laughs> Everybody usually is because you're on the hot seat. Okay. Question number one. Which is worse, failing or never trying? Definitely mm -hmm. never trying. Good deal. I feel like you can get over failure. You're mm -hmm. always going to regret never trying. Oh, see? Uh, <laughs> one day, I know someone's going to say failing, and I'm going to be interested to hear the answer why. I just, that doesn't even make sense. Like, why? Right. Yeah, you should always try. Okay, question number two. What are you most grateful for? Probably all of my life lessons and like all of my mistakes mm. because I feel like everything I did that went against the book or against the grain, mm. whatever I'm supposed to do, ended up teaching me something that I really use in Valuable. my day-to-day -day life. Yeah, I agree. Gosh, adulting sucks sometimes though. <laughs> Question number three, name two of your strengths and one weakness slash flaw. So... Two strengths that I have. Mm -hmm. um, well, one of them is probably a strength and a weakness. I'm Ooh. super nice. Okay. Like, to, to a fault. Yep. I think that people really value someone who's nice, and I think that mm -hmm. being a nice person gets you further in life. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I know people walk all over me. Right. Um, and then another strength would probably be my positive personality. Mm -hmm. I strive to be positive every single day. Maybe. I feel like it makes a better environment. If I'm positive, then you're going to be positive than anybody else around it, me. Yeah, it rubs off. It's definitely contagious. Mm -hmm. And every time, every time I get in that mode and I just start spiraling, she is the first one. She'll be like, all right, change the subject. What about your day? What's great about your day? And she immediately switches up the whole vibe. I love it. If you refocus your energy, then... It works. It, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And one weakness or flaw? Well, like I said, um, you want nice, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice okay, you're right. Or, oh gosh, that's a good one. Okay, question number four: What is your favorite childhood memory? You know, that one's really hard because I feel like I only remember be bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. But I'd have to say my favorite childhood memory was probably going to the Indian Museum. Ooh. Over at Foxwoods with my dad. Oh, okay. For those of you who don't know, this is the second girl from Connecticut, okay? Danielle and Becca are both in Connecticut. I will link the other interview above. And uh, Foxwoods is a casino up there for people who don't know. <laughs> it's an Indian casino. I know you guys don't have a lot of those down here. Mm -hmm. But it's one of the biggest in the world. Really cool place to visit. You should Google it. Okay, question number five. What is one piece of advice you got that always stuck out to you? My favorite piece of advice. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I guess that would be a hard one. Huh? It's super hard. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite piece of advice that I've always gotten growing up is to work hard. Mm -hmm. Like, whether it be working two jobs or always giving your best at whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. You should always work hard because then you feel good about yourself no matter what. Yeah. Because you know you gave your best. Right. Oh, that's a good one. And you are an extremely hard worker. I try. Yes, for sure. Okay, question number six. How do you handle anger? Um, first of all, I'm not usually somebody that gets angry very easily. Um, it takes a lot to get me to that point. But usually, if I do feel myself getting angry, I like to step back and try to look at the situation from different angles. Mm. I'll try to see your point of view. I'll try to see how that could reflect on the situation. Right. Um, and I kind of try to keep an open mind about it. Mm -hmm. And I might even completely leave the situation alone for a while so that I can think, so that I don't overreact yeah. in the moment. Right, oh, that's good advice. It's kind of like think before you speak. 
Definitely. 100%. <laughs> but especially when you're angry, that can get difficult. And I feel like people get angry and they spew out words that they may mean in the moment, mm -hmm. but you can't take back words once they're said. Right. Mm. Okay, question number seven is how would you describe your personality if you had like a couple sentences? I would say that I am a very genuine person. Mm -hmm. I'm very nice, I'm very hardworking, very positive. Mm -hmm. um, not overly friendly. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that I'm very open-minded mm. and very loyal. And honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm add very to honest. it too. Yeah. <laughs> Try to be honest all the time. That's great quality. <laughs> Question number eight. Where do you find your inspiration? Um, honestly, I find a lot of inspiration in like my friends and my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I, me and my friends always push each other to do the best that we can, whether it be in coloring a book or mm -hmm. in our relationships. My family inspires me to be the best person that I am so that they can be proud of me. Right. Um, yeah, I'd say my friends and my family are definitely my inspiration mm -hmm. every day. Kind of like Danielle's, when you get that support system and it inspires you, that can change up your whole world. You always need inspiration to keep you going. Or you should try to have inspiration. Question number nine. <laughs> what advice would you have gave yourself 10 years ago? Back to little, little high school bit. <laughs> <laughs> um... What advice would I give myself 10 years ago? That one's hard. Boy, because we was wilding, okay? We definitely <laughs> probably didn't make the best decisions 10 years ago. <laughs> Not saying that I regret any of them because from every decision I've made, I've learned lessons. Oh, it was amazing. Um, but if I had to give myself advice 10 years ago, it would probably be to better evaluate situations that I put myself in. Ooh, yes. That is a good one. I got very lucky that I never ended up in trouble or ended up in a serious situation. Exactly. We did some um, crazy stuff. That nothing affected the future that I've built for myself. Mm. Because everything that you do reflects on yourself. Like sure. who you hang out with, where you hang around. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something I should have taken more seriously. Yeah, I feel like as an adult, once you realize you can make a split second decision and things just go sideways. Yeah. It affects everything. Ooh. So definitely to uh, better evaluate the situations I put myself in. Oh, that's a really good one. Ooh. okay. Question number 10. What is your definition of being successful? Um, I know a lot of people would probably say owning a business or having a lot of money. Mm. Mine is to be happy. That is why we are here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you like could be internally happy. Yeah, yeah. Be truly happy with who you are as mm -hmm. a person, whether it be the way you look, whether it be the progress that you've made, how you've set your future up. Right. To be successful, you have to be happy. Right. Because otherwise, it's all worth nothing. Yep. She said it. Go ahead, say it again for the people in the back. Do you remember what you said? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, to be successful, you have to be happy. Otherwise, nothing else is worth it. Mm. Question number 11. What are you most proud of yourself for? I'm most proud of myself for the growth that I've gone through mainly over the last year and learning to love myself. Mm. Um, I've never been a skinny girl. I never want to be skinny, but I've had to learn to become comfortable with the body that I was given. And I do work out all the time now, and I am trying to make better choices, mm -hmm. and that makes me proud of myself. I'm be. proud that no matter what, I never change who I am, whether mm -hmm. I'm overweight, underweight, whatever, I'm always a good person. Mm -hmm. And no matter how anybody reacts to me, Ooh, like that's I will good... always be the same person. Oh, that's a really good one. I feel like a lot of people miss that. I need to do better on that. That's a really good one. Question number 12. What is one thing you would change about the world or society and why? Um, I guess maybe I'm not hitting this question on the button, mm -hmm. but I would want to go back in time 
and maybe take away some of the racist tendencies that some of our older generations learned. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. Because I feel like things like that make the world a very ugly place. Mm -hmm. Racism, prejudice, and... Because we are all the same. 100%. We are all I the same. I bleed red, she bleeds red, everybody bleeds red. Right. Shit comes in every color. Right. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but I feel like that would be the one thing I would change, is like people's bias against other human beings. Mm -hmm. That really needs to change. Question number 13. What is your favorite activity to do? And it could be simple. I mean... I feel like because I'm so busy, I enjoy things that are very relaxing. Mm. Um, my favorite activity recently has been like coloring. Mm. And I know that sounds very childish. They do make adult coloring books, mm -hmm. um, but it just- It's like that downtime for you to just slow down. A hundred percent. It gives she you time busy. to think about yourself and what's going on in your life and yeah. gives you time to just slow your mind down and that's a big part of your own mental health right so i do enjoy hiking i do enjoy you know hanging out with my friends hanging out with my family but your favorite i think my favorite activity would have to be just coloring being in my own room in the quiet coloring that's a good one and there is a difference between acting childlike and bringing out your inner child. Like you said before, it sounds childish. I don't think it sounds child childish. I think you're bringing out your inner child, which more adults need to do. And quite honestly, I have zero artistic ability. <laughs> so being able to just color inside the lines is really pushing it for me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Question number 14. If you could spend one day in someone else's shoes, who would it be? You know, I've thought about this mm -hmm. before. I don't know that I would want to live anybody else's life. Oh, okay. Um, I very much am happy with my life and happy with the person that I am. That's a, let's sip to that cheers. That's a good goal to have. Whole point of this channel. But I, um, yeah, I don't know that there's anybody else that I would want to walk a day in their shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't want, like I want to know what people are going through, mm -hmm. but I don't want that burden on myself. Yeah. Because I, like I feel it. like I've worked so hard in my own life. Yeah. Oh, that's good though. Question number 15. If your life was a novel, what would the title be? Learning to love myself. Mm. Because I feel like everybody needs to do that and there's not one particular way. Yeah, that's a good one. But it's one of the best things that I did for myself. Yeah. Oh man, self-love can really go a long way. Because at the end of the day, you're all you have. Mm -hmm. I'm all I have. Like that's... And I don't want people to think that I'm all about me and oh my God, I'm so great. No, definitely not. I'm not. I'm just very content. Yeah. And self-aware. 100%. Yeah. I don't strive to say, oh, you know, well, I need to make more money. Yeah, Or I right. need to be skinnier. I'm happy where I'm at now. Happiness is not ever something that I look for in the next thing. Right, and I feel like that's where a lot of people get lost. And that's why the whole, I think that's why they say the whole money thing. Like you're not gonna be happy just because you have more money. You need to be happy now. That way no matter what mm -hmm. changes in the future, you will still be happy. Yeah, so definitely learning to love myself. Dang, yours is good. Yours is real good. Oh, sorry Danielle, sorry right. Shade. <laughs> Question number 16. If money wasn't an option, where would you live? If money wasn't a factor, mm -hmm. um, I would probably want to live on some sort of tropical island. Ooh. Um, not a very well populated one. Yep. I very much value my alone time and my quiet time. And I love being out in nature. Mm. Um, and I feel like if I didn't have to worry about money. I would love to lay on a beach all day or go for hikes in the mountains or in... explore the world exactly. in that spot. Okay, question number 17. Describe the definition of a mature adult. Like what's your version? What does that look like? <laughs> I feel like I can't give it just one definition mm. because it depends on the situation and it depends on you as a person. Ooh, okay. 
because you could say my coloring is immature, but I find myself to be a very mature adult. Oh, okay. It has to me. It could do have to do with listening, like actively listening. Yeah. Or it could have to do with being financially stable. Mm. It could have to do with just your mindset in general, mm. and that changes varying on what kind of a person you are, where you live, right. what your individual situation is. Yeah, because when we were younger, I would think anybody who was at a certain age was automatically an adult, but just because they're 52 and they're an adult doesn't mean they are a mature adult. Exactly. So that's what, yeah, I like that one. And some people learn to be mature at a much younger age. Right. Or... They learn like motherly instincts at a much younger age. Mm. Everything changes depending on your situation. And your journey. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Question number 18. How do you treat people who can do nothing for you? I treat them the same way that I treat everybody else. Because That's I'm not true. going into a friendship or relationship, even a casual meeting thinking, what am I going to get out of this? Right. I like to try to be nice and giving and caring no matter what situation is, no matter how ugly you might be to me. Right. What, and I'm not talking about looks, I'm talking about personality wise. Correct. Attitude or, wise. I don't care if you live in a cardboard box or if you live in a mansion. Treat people with respect You treat and kindness. everybody the same way. Right. Question number 19. Do you have any regrets and it could be big or small? Do I have choices that I wish I never made? Mm -hmm. Yes, but I wouldn't say I regret anything in life. Because you learned from it? Exactly. Yeah. Everything is a learning, like, everything's a path to learning. Yeah. And without any of the mistakes that I've made mm -hmm. or choices that I've made, I wouldn't be who I am today. Question number 20. <laughs> Last question. Last question. Well, you went through it real fast. <laughs> What would you do if a doctor only gave you five years left to live today? Um, I would make sure that my family and my friends all know how much they mean to me. Mm. I would probably yeah, try to travel um, and just have more life experiences, mm -hmm. which don't get me wrong, I try to do now. Yeah. But I feel like I tend to say, all right, well, as of today, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Right. And then next year I can do this, this, and this. Right. There might not be the next out. year. Correct, yeah. So I would look at it as, let me try to do as much as I can and experience as much as I can mm. with those that I love. Yeah. That was intense. Did you think it was intense? How do you think you did? I think you did great. Um, I hope that everybody can take this and kind of apply it to their own lives. Just right. because I feel like everybody needs to look at it, life in a positive way. Mm-hmm. Um, and I try my best to always do that. Mm, okay. Whether it be, oh, you know, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. It doesn't matter because yeah. we're all human. We all make mistakes. We're going to go through It depends stuff. what you do after that point. Yeah. So this interview gave me a chance to look at things that I wouldn't normally look at. Right. And of course, some of the questions catch you off guard because mm. it's not I don't like have to worry down. about that every yeah. day. <laughs> it's not like you sit down and be like, hmm. Doctor only gave me five years left to live. What would happen? A lot of people are busy, even though, you know, it's Corona time. People are still out there. Just go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Take a second. We'll, we will challenge you, okay? Sit down and answer these same 20 questions and see what you come up with. I promise you, you'll be stuck. Yeah, for sure. And it sounds easy when you hear it, but when you actually have to sit there and answer it for yourself, and give yourself a realistic answer. Be honest with yourself. Because like us, I mean, obviously I have a YouTube channel, so we're posting it online, but you don't have to do that. You no. can sit there in your private time without anyone watching, just you and your pen. And honestly, Holly gave me a rough draft before this, and yeah. I skimmed over it, and I gave some half-assed answers, Yeah. and most of my answers weren't the same today yeah. because I had time to think about it. Right. Um. And... It just shows you that just because you said or did one thing before doesn't mean it applies. Yeah. Again. Or it comes out the same way. Exactly. Yeah. But I am glad it's over because I was kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think one day I'll be in the hot seat and I'll have somebody ask me the questions.
That'd yeah, be but depressing. you can't pick the questions. Right. I'm going to have someone else <laughs> pick questions. Maybe Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, I'm out. <laughs> That was so funny. Like Danielle, she stood up. I was like, wait, where are you going? <laughs> Slow down. All right. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. I got the same daggum shirt. I forgot to bring a second shirt, like a dim. Do you want a different shirt? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Should, yeah, can I? Do you have a shirt? What shirt do you want? Oh, guys, I love this shirt. Ooh, a lot better. Perfect. Yay! I feel like we almost have the same hair color. You guys do have. How is that so? I can't wait to use my purple shampoo. That would be such a cute picture, but anyways. Okay. I know, right? I think I can use that as a thumbnail. Maybe. Oh wait. <laughs> Good, because I can feel like wipe my nose. One time I had to cut in between a word because I so like scratched the corner of my <laughs> nose, and you just see me like this. <laughs> Um, wait, did you finish your answer? I guess you did, yeah. The museum. Kind of the museum. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, I don't forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what did it say in the car? Oh, um. Oh, it's a bird outside? Is that your phone? No. <laughs> I don't know what that clicking noise okay. is, but we're just gonna ignore it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was. Wait till I edit that. That's genius. Okay. <laughs> you gotta say it so I can zoom in on the second frame. So the first frame is regular, like the first video clip. And then the second video clip, it goes like, we'll be right here because I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Learning to love myself. Just say it again, I burped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number 16. If money wasn't an option, what would you do with your life? If money wasn't a factor? Oh, shoot. I messed that question up. <laughs> I was like, why did I spell life like live? <laughs> I messed up the question. Thumbnail time. My hair is like doing some weird. Do you think one of those work? Oh, you looking at the camera hole? Oh, no. Watch it. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. Tragic. Oh, boy. I'm going to have some good ones. Oh, wait. We need to be up here. I forget. I Yay! Like you can pick at least one good one out of yep, that. Yep. For sure. Bye!